Hello everyone, welcome to Hillbro, and it is an absolutely beautiful morning. It is the week before Labor Day, uh, Labor Day weekend, and at the dunes, they consider that dune week. Dune week because the week before Labor Day and absolutely the Labor Day weekend and Labor Day sand dunes is completely packed. For those in the North States, it marks an end of dune season for the colder uh, dune areas morning and then those in the southern states kind of marks a new dune season uh, the southern dunes are starting to cool down people are able to get out onto them our dunes labor day weekend kind of is the last hurrah because from there it's harvest season and then hunting season and so dune week or labor day weekend is absolutely crazy at the st anthony sand dunes unfortunately for me I've shown you guys this for those who have followed Hillbro for a long time, know that we have dune machines or I have a project. Uh, I wouldn't really call it a dune machine, but it's a project double X that I call the mutant cat. That's it right there. It's all torn apart. My dune machine, or at least my machine that has enough power to just rip on the dunes. The reason why I don't completely call it a dune machine is because it's, it's heavy. It's built for the desert. It's built to just uh, be robust. It's still tore apart. I've had I've had custom parts that I've ordered nine months ago uh, internationally that I was told that would be ready in two months when I ordered them. They still haven't even started cutting the parts out. It's likely not to be ready till next year. I do have my double X, but today I'm going to meet up with some uh, friends from northern Idaho who are staying over at the Idaho Dunes RV. Uh, and they have Can-Ams like crazy. They got the Mavars, they got the X3s, they've got Renegades and Outlanders. So I got my Renegade loaded. Uh, where there's a Renegade and an Outlander in this group from Northern Idaho, I just figured, you know, that's probably the best machine to take. And plus, as far as making videos, it's easier for me. I just put all the equipment in the back of my machine. Also, this week, this weekend, is one of the biggest side-by-side -side events out at the St. Anthony Sand Dunes called UTV Invasions. It's big enough to just bring in dozens of vendors as well as OEMs. Maybe we'll go stop by UTV Invasions and see how it is this year. Let's go check it out. Every time, <laughs> I swear. This thing's supposed to prevent spilling, but it causes more spilling, but maybe I need to rethink that idea. Or maybe I just need to be more patient but who wants to do that? so we made it out to the St. Anthony sand dunes uh, still very early not a lot of people out yet also it's the midweek it's not quite the weekend there's a lot of people out at the campgrounds but nothing compared to what will be come tomorrow and Saturday and the rest of the weekend the weather definitely has changed this morning my truck read 32 degrees which is crazy considering we are still in August but I do expect the weather to get to about mid 80s today UTV Invasions is just south of here on Red Road and on the east side. And that is where the big events are happening, or at least where the vendors and the OEM uh, booths and everything are. Uh, the other events, obviously, like the rides and drag races are all out in the sand dunes. Let's load up and head over to Idaho Dunes RV. That is where uh, these guys from Northern Idaho are. Hopefully we'll have a good ride with them. Yeah. because it's a little chilly, a little underdressed for the morning, 
but probably a little overdressed for the rest of the day. It's amazing how well machines work though when it's crisp air. Like this thing's just running strong. Check this out. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, this thing's so much fun. There's the flag that indicates that we found Idaho Dunes RV. You find that? And he cut that way. This will lead right into there. These guys are starting to fill up. Look at that. That exterior parking lot is huge and it's already majority of the way full. We got some Logan coaches. Another Logan coach right there. Looks like you got off-road diaries here. Still sleeping away. This is our group right here. Ugh. You guys all still asleep? I've been up since 4.30. For, because you froze to death? <laughs> no, because I hurt my neck while sleeping. It's very, very extreme. <laughs> hurting your neck while sleeping and not dooning that's that's i don't know is that good or bad adjusting myself in the in the in the sleeping bag and all of a sudden dink so so that maverick car might be just straining you a little bit how dare you i think it's my cot <laughs> i'm never on this side Dad. of the camera I'm always filming myself. Dad! This is my brother Casey. He okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. For the past 45 minutes, I've tried to get these guys together to kind of introduce themselves We've and been plug together their, this entire their, time. their channel. <laughs> Turn the dang camera but on. They're just a bunch of brothers that just go on and on and on, and it's just like, whatever. So, back okay. there. So, Casey. We'll, we'll give it a try. Casey, the youngest. <laughs> my channel on YouTube is. I don't even know what it's called. North, North Idaho. Idaho uh, North life. Idaho life. But it's a North Idaho off-road life. Both. A North Idaho life. I don't know. I got crap ton of subscribers. Great footage. <laughs> My brother Jeff, he's the owner of Murder. M R. Oh, yeah. Owner. <laughs> Owner uh, and operator. Jeff's my name. Our channel's Brands Picking News. Murder it stands for Mud Rocks Dune Ride. Um, our logo, we got a crow on it. Crow of Murders. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. Which I did not. Uh, anyway, so we just started. So uh, just getting out off, uh, off the ground. So he's got an X3. I have a Razor, Turbo R, and the Renegade. And then you already talked about Nick. I'm but Nick again. Just, I got I'll, a Maverick behind the scenes. Don't even film him, nah, he's nah, so I, blasted I'm shy. I'm, I'm shy. <laughs> the camera, yeah. <laughs> kind of along the lines of the Murderer UTV. Uh, last name's Fowler, yeah. Fowles, uh -huh. from my understanding. Yeah. yeah. So that's Keep kind of the why birds. the Crow logo. Oh, I didn't even... Looks like they're all getting themselves ready to go. They've got a pretty cool setup. They got lots of fun toys. But at least I'm not alone with the Renegade. Idiot. I was looking at his phone thing. Okay, I'm not the only one because I did it this morning too. I call it overly excited. Yes. Well, this is really dirty. I just cleaned it off. You really did. <laughs> Here, let me grab a lighter real quick. <laughs> That's gas. <laughs> Thanks. In case you were wondering. I was curious. <laughs>
I've done that before. <laughs> well, honestly, I'm not too sure what I think of that. He just pulled what I call the mutant cat signature move just uh, to the west of the fingers along Chokecherry. There's a spot where the dirt bikers kind of side hill up uh, the side of Chokecherry. And I'm sure there's others who have done it, but I've never seen anyone do it. I'd do it with the mutant cat because it was 77 wide and it could, it could handle it. Maverick R did it no problem, way easier than my mutant cat ever did. I don't know about these brothers, they're they're rowdy. They're crazier than me. <laughs> no, they're a lot of fun to be around. They're all up top now, and I'm on my renegade, which doesn't climb choke cherry, so I've got to go around. <laughs> what are you concerned about this transmission? Dick doesn't have concerns. <laughs> <laughs> On video, everyone standing on this dune doubting you the whole way you're going up that thing, <laughs> <laughs> and then you just launch right over the top of it. Uh, I can, I, and I, I can, can only it. see. I know. I can only see two paths up and over. One is you going over. The other <laughs> is you coming down. Coming down. <laughs> down was scary. Oh like, yes, I'm right, sure it was. Over. I'm coming down. I'm like, I gotta turn left. But I can't turn left. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. But yeah, awesome. I'm, gl I'm glad that uh, Isaac kind of uh, talked to me about maybe trying the stuff out in manual mode. Uh -huh. Changed everything. So now you're shifting when you want to shift and it's like, okay. As far as this big stuff, yeah. it's, I, I feel like I got twice the power going uphill. Yeah. You know, or not twice, I've got like 50% more power going uphill. Yeah. It bogs down otherwise. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Still yeah. down there? Yeah. He's He's loading up his stuff. Yeah. Did he make it up here? No. Can he'll, he? I don't think so. He'll what? have to go around. He'll probably have to go around up this way. You don't think he, he can make it up this he way? He said, he said yesterday, he's like, I can't make it up with these tires. Um, yeah, he's not a very good rider. I I'm, I hope he doesn't see this when I said it to him. Hillbilly, bro. We're like, Hill flat bro. Flat bro. <laughs> yeah. No, he's gonna go up the you steep part watch, yeah. where I went. You're, you're like asking for something. <laughs> so did you guys saw me go up the? Like, yes. Up the, oh yes. So kind of made up your own little path. No, there, no. See, Isaac gave me a challenge. He says that his Arctic cat, mutant cat, is the only one he's ever seen do that. He do what you just challenged. did? Well, obviously it's because people don't do it. I'm the only one that does it, but. Uh, he said that uh, there's others that are capable, but he's he's never seen anybody else try it and actually do it. Are you recording something? My fat butt. I am. That's perffect. <laughs> you were built for that thing. I, I told them. I, can't I told them that once you sit in that good. seat, I told them once you sit in that seat, your butt cheeks just kind of wrap around the seat and you become one with the machine, <laughs> like freaking Avatar. <laughs> Uh, oh, hell, bro! Uh, having your dip what a nut! What a nut! Uh, what a I got my goggles. Oh, big of the dog! That was fun to watch. <laughs> right on the ridge. Oh, right Gosh, there? Yes. Hey, well, Isaac, about the the steep part, and he's like, "Are you asking me to get your drone out?" I'm like. No, no, you can do whatever you want. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I am. So there's a move that I still haven't seen any. Well, I've seen like one other guy do it before. On my mutant cat, you can go down choke cherry, midway, and then turn around and head back up. The, the midway part is the key to that. So I can't just go to the very, very bottom and then turn around. Correct. You can't go to the bottom. You have to that. stay on the steep. All right. So uh, are we talking about the kind of the, the roll, the, the, the used up area or the So I, when I did it, I was kind of you don't want to right here. So kind stuff. of medium, right. not necessarily over there in the fingers. All right. Uh, you want it in the slidable sand, not the deep stuff. Yeah, so. Right? So it's something like that right it? there, that's on top. It's best to stay away from those ruts over there, honestly. Oh. So we'll see you're gonna catch something. We'll see if my sex pants can do it. 
Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly why my wife named it that. Hey, by the way, Mia's going to see all this, so... She doesn't watch YouTube. I will send this to her. <laughs> and she'll erase it. She'll like, I don't even know who that guy is. You have Damn. to be 77 wide to do this. How about 88? <laughs> You'll be able to do it. <laughs> Yeah. And down below. <laughs> come on, come on. Do it. Going to the two state steep part though. Bail out. Bail it, buddy. Holy Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, everyone's got something I don't know different. That counts, but that counts? Belt. No, like I said, I go through a belt every time I do it. <laughs> Are you leaning inside? Yes. I would be. I'd be like, uh, uh, anything to help. Uh, that was fun. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to have to come up with new moves. Right. You did that like cake. Oh, thank you. Almost as if I knew what I was doing, right? <laughs> Man, you're making me want a Maverick R. I know. Well, what I did was I just put my foot all the way to the floor and just kept it there. <laughs> <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> what gear were you in? Uh, second. Oh, there you go. I don't know if you can see it, but Dad's flying around choke cherry right now. That thing is so stinking quiet. He could probably land on the dunes if he really wanted to, but it's kind of chopped up and there's quite a few people. You wouldn't want to do it right now. But uh, one day uh, we were in the extreme airs, which are fully carbon fiber aerobatic airplanes, like just crazy airplanes. And we came over the butte and we hit the deck, meaning got really, really low flew across this desert and then just went straight up choke and did a barrel roll it was one of, it was the coolest thing fastest time up choke about 0.3 seconds <laughs> that was led to the mountains where he found ore <laughs> <laughs> And built himself a smith so he can make iron. He made and I iron. stretched forth on my hand. <laughs> Don't forget and about when it. I touched it glued. Don't it forget glued. about the bellows. It started. Yeah. And these guys, I tell you, are some of the most, uh, the biggest advocates for UTVs and sand dunes. It's been a lot of fun to ride with them. They're chaos on the sand. <laughs> um, one of these days, I'll have to come up to Northern Idaho, Coeur d'Alene, and ride yes. with you guys. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you guys can show me the ropes up there because I'm familiar with the sand stuff mostly, the desert, not familiar with that stuff up there. But it's been a lot of fun riding with you guys, so thanks for hanging. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Isaac. So it's been a lot of fun hanging out with these guys, the Fowler brothers. Um, they're, they're characters, and they have a lot of fun riding videos. Go check out Murder UTV, MRDR UTV, as well as the North Idaho Dune Life channels. I'll put the links below. Um, I'm gonna head back to the truck. I'm gonna have some lunch and fill up and then we'll go over to UTV Invasions and check out Vendor Row.
So we made it here to Vendor Row. Uh, it's actually uh, started charging this year, which I totally get it. It's uh, it is necessary. Uh, so that was kind of new this year is the entry fee. Right up front, Can-Am used to be shoved in the back. Can-Am's now right at the beginning, right here. They've got tours for the new Maverick R. You can go test one out, as, as well as they are displaying the brand new Maverick R Max. It doesn't look as wide as my Max, but it is. Yeah, it's a So pretty much what you would expect from Can-Am making the Maverick R into a four-seater, similar to their uh, X3 Max. Um, pretty much everything you get as a standard and then just adding two seats. But it is making it quite a bit longer. This is by far the longest machine, sand machine production, in production. But again, that's the cream of the crop for sand and desert. Yeah, it's a good thing Can-Am's here because they by far, like I say, the best for such things as St. Anthony Sand Dunes. I do find it funny that they're painting these upper arms. Last year, a lot of people complained of how goofy it looked. And so they start painting them black so they don't stand out so much. I think they're fine, but I get it. It is different. It does look kind of goofy. Comfort. Oh, oh score. It's your workout, Nick. This is interesting. It's smart. It's smarter than me. So all these test units, these uh, demos, have the Obor, I don't know, that's the first time I've seen these tires, the O-B-O-R, the Obors, Obors. Oh boys. Hey. Oh boys. Anyways, I think that's actually kind of a smart thing that Can-Am did this year, is because it's uh, not overly aggressive, but still hook, does really good hookup for testing, pe for people testing on these machines. That's actually a smart move. Also, if you notice, they're all 34s. Yeah. So this will give them even a better ride. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. That's good move, Can Am. Fat Kira. When I first saw the name of that thing, I just smiled with glee. Perfect name for those things. This cage. <laughs> I love that. I saw it earlier. Did he put a something to protect it to keep it from no, it's still raw. No, that's all raw. That's like that's like mutant cat style right there. Oh, it has a little uh what do they call it? Golding almost style? <laughs> yeah. UTV Invasion was pretty cool. Lots of vendors there. It's always good to see uh, vendors coming and supporting events, as well as the people, obviously. Vendors can't do it without the individual. Yeah, UTV Invasion is always fun. They always have a lot of cool activities, group rides, uh, like the Seesaw Challenge and just Show and Shine. You know, there's always something to do at UTV Invasions. But everyone knows that uh, the reason why we all come Labor Weekend is to ride the dunes hard. Uh, that's why they also have the group rides. Leaving from the events, going all the way to the West End, Choke Cherry, Devil's Dune, with a lot of good people, a lot of good characters, a lot of good uh, uh, social profile guys, nice people. Uh, I found myself a nice, quiet, shaded little spot. I'm going to enjoy a little bit of homemade lunch, and then we'll likely go back out and see if we can't catch some more cool stuff.